What's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Weekly. In today's video we have a lot to talk about on our journey to 170k as we follow this upward pitchfork very very nicely. But what I want to focus on is the lower time frame analysis in today's video. There's a lot to talk about as I say. So first things first, I want to discuss this very important level which could be acting as a resistance flipped to support. So it's a weekly level. This resistance point here being flipped into support historically it was a very important level on the weekly time frame if we went back to november 2021 it acted at this as this weekly range high right here and it's where potentially we could be bottoming out here okay so that's one key important element the next being our camarilla pivots finishing last week very weak indeed beneath the s4 you would then look for support off the s3 or s4 we've hit the s3 very very nicely at 65.2k and we've absolutely shot back to the upside where this is our weekly open and we've now overcome that so it's a great response to the open of the week uh, next thing to consider is the 200 week simple moving average which is this black line here historically when we've gone above it we have then used the 20 week moving average as support thereafter as you can see we use the 20 week simple moving average very very nicely as support as we bounce off of the 200 week there is a slight exception here because of a more prolonged consolidation as you can see we went above the 200 but then the 20 week was lost okay but then as you can see as we use the 200 as support again the 20 once again acted as support going higher and now we're looking for the same kind of scenario we're back above the 200 now we want to see the 20 week takeover as support we've had one kind of test around here another test around here and we're just testing it once more right now so another reason for why we might be set to shoot back to the upside from this level right here on top of that we have had almost a max pain sell-off across a lot of altcoins if we just look at a few for example here cardano we've swept the lows this is on the daily time frame we swept the lows that formed here and then we've got that very nice hammer like candle hammering out a bottom right here potentially obviously it's way too early to tell but a very nice response another one avalanche right here again sweeping the lows and again matic here again sweeping the lows it's what i see a very similar pattern across a, a lot of the altcoins we've swept the lows it's causing max pain it's where a lot of stops will get taken out you call it a stop run or a liquidity grab whatever you want to call it but it's the psychological aspect to trading is a very important element and it can often act as a place where price starts to reverse so let's just go through everything in a little bit more detail so coming back to our first analysis of a zoomed out chart on the daily time frame here looking at bitcoin i've mentioned previously the high time frame analysis going on the weekly it might be a bit more clear to see we're looking at this as a major wave one two three triangle wave four finishing here that's an a b c d and e and then we're going into a fifth wave ending diagonal made up of a three 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 three, three. so we've had the first leg up we've had the second uh first leg up followed by the next leg down we're working on our third after which we're waiting for a fourth and a fifth we're looking for the third wave to find a high in and around the u.s election around november this year we've got our upper warning line of our uh, original pitchfork giving confluence at around 170k along with this vertical line which is our u.s election we've got the extrapolated trend line connecting the highs of our major wave three with the first wave of our major wave five and we have also a very important Fibonacci projection level. If we take our Fib retracement tool, take it from the previous high to the previous major low, we get a 1.618 Fib projection around here. This was the reason for our target of 170K, all the confluence coming in and around this point. Okay, that's the high time frame analysis. I'm not going to focus too much on that on, in today's video. Now, what I really want to home in on are the kind of reasons for why monday's price action today could have acted as a local bottom here on bitcoin so first thing to discuss i want to discuss this weekly level okay so we've got this very important level where you can see we struggled with it here 
came back down in fact it's probably better to look at it on the daily we can see now you see how we went up used it as resistance came down we're back above we've come back and tested it a couple of times and we've had wicks on both occasions okay so great great response there we still have to wait for a confirmation of this reversal and i'd like to use the pitchfork to confirm that and we're going to look at that in a, a little moment but on the weekly time frame as i say this is how the line was originally drawn this level here around 65.5k so this was all a derivative of this weekly close right here where we then absolutely cascaded to the downside that level is now as i say arguably acting as a bit of support and you can see it acts it's pretty much smack bang in the middle of this consolidation yeah and that's where we're just finding a little bit of uh, support arguably right now we'll have we so a little bit early to say but it's showing good promise okay all the fundamentals are there we've got the etf approvals for bitcoin ethereum soon to be trading its etfs and then there's talks about other altcoins soon to potentially have etfs the likes of solana ripple are widely talked about even dogecoin's name is put out there um so all those fundamentals the recent halving it's all kind of in place but now we just need to see the technicals to show some support we need to have the psychological shakeouts uh, that we can see on altcoins uh, and it's all kind of coming together now so so yeah that's that important level there as we discussed the next thing i want to talk about is the camera pivots bitcoin folk really responds to these levels incredibly well so on the weekly sorry the four hourly time frame that we're currently on each period here represents a week okay and um, so we finished this week last week um, beneath the s4 so it's a terrible week yeah and as a result you then look for support of the s3 or s4 we come down into the s3 so monday's price action very often will counter the rest of the week's price action so we came down and usually price will either start to reverse on monday evening or on the following day being tuesday okay now we've had a really good response here i'm not too sure what triggered this violent response here but one argument is that it could be um what's his name again uh, David Hirsch, so head of uh, crypto for the SEC, uh, resigning. Okay, and this is at the same time that there's a lot of talk about crypto regulation right now. So maybe there's some inside knowledge as to why that's happened, and maybe it's paving the way for something bullish for crypto. Who knows? Very hard to say, but a very strong response here this evening. Um, and I believe it is significant. I believe it's come off a very, very key level here. All right, so that's the Camarilla pivot. So that's another bit of confluence and another argument for support right there. Next thing to look at is this 200 week simple moving average as well as the 20 week. I think I covered that in enough detail earlier on. So as I say, we're just following that 20 week and ideally we wanna use that as support now. So let's see if we can hold on to that. That'd be a great show of strength if we can continue with that. Uh, the altcoins, as I mentioned, taking out very key lows. I don't think we need to dwell on that too much either. So I'm going to come back to the main chart for Bitcoin. And I want to really home in now on the lower time frame price action going in on the four hourly. I want to look at this pitchfork right here. OK, so I always use pitchforks to mark out the trend. I've been following this trend to the downside. We're using a modified shift pitchfork. There was a lot of volatility as we had the Fed rate decision. Um, and the cpi result i think cpi sent it higher with this really violent response and then interest rates uh decisions obviously we held interest rates and then there was talks of only one potential interest rate decline for the rest of the year and that obviously um wasn't received very well by the markets and we just came straight back down yeah so, so bitcoin seems to be very very sensitive to these announcements by the fed and interest rate decisions probably very largely because the dollar is also sensitive and obviously the price of bitcoin being priced in dollars and also competing with the dollar to some extent obviously a weak dollar favors bitcoin okay and um yeah so basically we're following the pitchfork well now what we're looking for in these pitchforks is a loss of momentum to the downside so there was a first sign of it here 
when this low failed to come down to the lower median line we then shot back up and then obviously it only came up in a corrective manner and so we've had that sell off once more this time again even falling short of the median line and then shooting right back up to the upside and now this point here is the highest we've been in this downward pitch fork so it's a good show of strength ideally i do want to see us get above this upper warning line for a bit more confidence that we're seeing strength here that would be a, a very good finish especially if we can finish the week above this upper warning line that would be an incredible show of strength right there and also for the june open so this is our monthly open this horizontal line here uh, i want to see us get back above that ideally by the end of the week all right so it's still a little bit early to say we've seen a true reversal here but there's many reasons for why this level as i say is a key element key level of support we've got the camarilla pivot support we've got the 20 week simple moving average support We've got the key uh, resistance to support flip. That's resistance here, flip to support. And then I want to show you something further. So from an Elliott Wave point of view, the argument is how is all this playing out? The, uh, previously we discussed about the possibility of the correction having completed here and then we're going up in a new impulse where we've got a wave one, two, three and we're looking for a four and five where we're then looking for an extended fifth. It doesn't look like we're playing out that way because we've now overlapped this wave here. So four has overlapped one. So this is not a one, two, three, four, five. Okay, at least it's not a motive wave. So what that then means is that the other argument is that we're playing out a more, a bigger correction here. Now, I mentioned previously about the, the kind of scary scenario of us revisiting this low here around 57K where it could be following a potential um, regular flat, an A, a B, and a C down to these kind of lows again. My validation for the whole move on Bitcoin is this lower median line. So it does allow us to come down to visit this lower median line. Okay, But as I say, all the fundamentals are in there, and we've come into a key support level looking at a lot of other indicators as I've discussed already. So do we really need to dip down this low? Okay, altcoins have already witnessed a lot of pain and stops no doubt have been taken out as I showed you a lot of key swing lows have been taken out today. So do we really need to have a further shakeout to the downside? I'm not too sure we do. Um, so that's one scenario and I'm prepared for that mentally in case we do sell off. I'm prepared to hold on to the position because as I say, as long as we stay above this lower median line, I'm still very bullish. It still gives us time to shoot up pre-election into this kind of target around 170k however probability wise i'm not so sure this is likely to occur i'm now starting to consider especially looking at today's price action going to zoom in on the four hourly about this possibility still we're playing out a big correction but arguably now we're following a ascending triangle where we've had the a the b this is all the c arguably finished here and now we're going to make a D and E where D just needs to basically come up to the equal highs here around this point. Could happen pretty quick. And then E just needs a little bit of a pullback. And then we've got the green light to absolutely fly to the upside, having completed an ascending triangle, which would have lasted from all the way back in uh, middle of March through to potentially, uh, let's say, middle of July. So what's that? A four month consolidation that would then have the potential to absolutely rip to the upside, which is what we would need to see if we are going to target that 170K mark all the way up here. So that's the general play that I'm looking out for now. I'm leaning towards this ascending triangle scenario. If, however, we finish the week in a, in a rather weak manner and we fail to get above this June open and we just start, we fail to get out of this downward pitchfork then I would have to con start considering the possibility that we visit 57k in and around these this swing low here again. But as I say, right now, I'm, I believe there's probably about a 60% chance that we're playing the ascending triangle scenario and probably maybe even better than that. I'm going to say 65% versus a 35% chance that we come back down to 57k. All right. That's as I speak. Of course, can things can change. Um, so, yeah, that's the play that we're looking at. And if we're looking at that also, it's important to look at the FIB. So if we look at the FIB, we're looking at that being our B leg. If we've gone all the way up to there, 
we have retraced to the 0.382 okay two taps of the 0.382 once twice and now we're seeing a good a potential early sign of a reversal of course it's early and it may still start tumbling back down on itself it's we've not got that true confirmation but a lot of traders with a, a bit of a, a greater risk appetite will look to get in at this opportunity here as i say we have pushed up in this pitchfork higher than we have done so far during this corrective move okay it's showing early signs of the reversal yet no it's not yet confirmed itself but as soon as it starts moving higher and higher, you start losing your risk reward opportunity. So it is early days. Those with higher risk appetite may take on the trade. That is entirely down to the individual trader. Um, but yeah, as I say, my major invalidation is the lower median line. So um, yeah, still a lot of room to eat into on the downside if need be. Um, so yeah, I'm mentally prepared for that potential pullback. But that's what I wanted to update in today's video. I think it's a pretty timely video today. We've seen that strong sell-off and a potential bottoming out scenario here. But it's still early days. It's not confirmed. And I want to see how this, especially tomorrow's price action plays out. Are we going to follow through with this upward momentum or are we going to start rolling over? We're going to find out very soon because as you can see, this pitchfork, we're getting very close to the upper warning line right here. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up there. Take care. Thank you for your attention and watching through to the end of this video. Now, I know there's a lot of you watching that would like to learn how to confidently trade the financial markets independently. And I also know how confusing this can be regardless of how many stressful hours that you put in. For that reason, I've put together all of my trading knowledge in a complete course titled The Works. The Works consists of thorough and jargon-free lessons broken down into a comprehensive curriculum providing you with a holistic understanding of the markets and giving you an accelerated journey to being able to analyze and trade the markets all by yourself. And for those of you that are looking for my weekly detailed video analysis on crypto and stocks, then there's Cryptology, which is a subscription that will also give you access to the works while subscribed. For more information on what's included in the works or Cryptology, you can head on over to wave618.com or alternatively use the links in the description to this video for a limited time 50% discount offer. So I hope to see you on the other side, but in the meantime, if you would like to sample some of my educational videos, then you can check out these videos that you can see on your screen right now. Thanks once again, and until next time, take care.